Justin Fields, the quarterback of Ohio State, who just tweeted that he was shaking his head. And then Javon Sidney of Illinois wide receiver said, I just don't get how playing football isn't safe, but attending classes is. If season is canceled because they're looking out for our health, how is attending classes not worse? I'm not safe to be around the same people who are tested constantly, but I'm safe around many different peers. The players are asking questions. The coaches are asking questions. The fans are asking a lot of questions. And as a general rule, I have come to find the person with the most answers of anyone in the world is Heather Dinich. And so we will start there. Uh, Heather, what can you tell us about the decisions made by the Big Ten and Pac-12 yesterday, why they happened when they did? Well, I asked Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren yesterday why they did that just days after announcing their schedule. And he said, I made it very clear when that schedule came out that this was day to day and the college football season might not be played. He said this decision was made in the interest of the student athletes based on the um, advice from their medical advisory board and what could happen. He said, we're in a pandemic. It's different in the Pac-12, though, because their medical advisory board wasn't saying what could happen. They are saying what is happening. In the geographic footprint of the Pac-12, their doctors and physicians are saying at every campus, it varies as far as testing availability, the turnaround time, and there is a significant concern about how high the positive rate is throughout the Pac-12. So they were reacting to what is happening right now in that conference. There were also, we were discussing this morning, Heather, quarantine considerations that come into play significantly in the Pac-12. Can you pick up that thought? Because I think that's very important. Well, just outside the Pac-12, I mean, there's some places where New Mexico State, for example, which has four games and is trying to figure out how to salvage a season. If you want to play New Mexico State right now and you're a team, you go into that state, you have to quarantine for 14 days. So there are very real issues that stem from government regulations right now that are making a football season difficult even for those that want to try to do it. All right, so one other thing, I will admit that I was a little surprised when this happened yesterday, Heather, because it seemed to me there wasn't any obvious harm in, for lack of a better word, kicking the can down the road on this thing. That the option of pushing everything back to September 26th, particularly in the Big Ten, felt like a reasonable thing to do on August 11th because it didn't necessarily cost you anything and it just bought you a little more time to make the decision. What do we know about why they felt they needed to make this decision yesterday? Well, Kevin Warren's answer was very simple in that he said, we're in a pandemic. And that's basically what he said, was that this is a global concern. And he said he realizes that there are a lot of people who are not going to be happy with this decision. But he said, to put it into perspective, it is going to be financially devastating. And yet they did this anyway. I asked him how financially devastating. He said he wasn't prepared to answer that question quite yet. There are still a lot of things that they have to figure out on that end. But his point was, we made it regardless because of the student athletes. Yes, I get that part of it. And no one can criticize them for that. This clearly wasn't chasing the money. This is the opposite of the money. But I, it, just to make it clear, Heather, and make sure that you and I are understanding each other, saying we're in the middle of a pandemic is not really answering the question, why did you have to do it now and couldn't wait until September? Th that seems clear. Okay, let me come to the panel here a little bit. Every time Heather looks down at her text, I'm fascinated. So you let us know if you're hearing from someone with some further information. In the meantime, Paul Feinbaum, I'm coming to you first. It was an unbelievable day yesterday. What are your most important takeaways? Well, what, what Kevin Warren just said, Greeny, doesn't doesn't work. It, it, we all know that we were in a pan, we were in a pandemic. We've been in a pandemic since March 11th. I thought that was an inane answer, and, and he does not. He, he said he said that because he doesn't have a justification right now. I'm not advocating that anyone do anything that they don't want to do, but there was simply no reason to shut down yesterday, and that's why there is such chaos right now. And that's another reason why the other three leagues I think are holding on for dear life. Whether it's right or wrong, that will be determined later. They are taking advantage of the, of, the, of the lack of direction that the Big Ten is going in. The Big Ten has, I think, made this decision on July 9th when, when they went ahead and, and broke ranks, went rogue, and decided to have a conference-only season and then embarrassingly announced their, their schedule a couple of days ago. The bottom line is that the SEC is gaining traction, the Big 12 is gaining traction, 
in the ACC is, I'm not saying gaining traction in anything other than perception. Their fan base wants to see football, and the Big Ten right now is devastated. It, we, we all may end up at the very same place, but the timing of it makes no sense. Yeah, because I want to make it clear here for anyone who's not been following this closely. The, the number of positive tests that have come from the whatever degree of practicing and working out that these teams have done have been uh, remarkably low, encouragingly low. Yeah. And the only reason I bring that up is because it suggests to me, Paul, that there isn't any real danger in allowing the players to continue to do what they've been doing to this point. So it's not a question of whether it is safe to play games. It is a question of whether it's safe to continue on this current path a little farther and make this determination later. That, that's the part of this that confuses me, Paul, and I wonder if that's what you're thinking as well. Greedy, most of the people with whom I speak say they are waiting and watching one thing in particular, and that's going, going on right now, as you well know. You have, you have a student, you have a daughter who's a student. What happens when students get back on campus? They're already back in a couple of places. In a, in a week or two, they'll be back in almost every place. That's what they're watching. And, and if you start getting serious outbreaks and presidents say, listen, we can't do this, we have to shut down the campus, then you give cover to the rest of the commissioners. Then they say, listen, we tried, we did everything we could, we listened to our coaches, especially listened to our student athletes, and now unfortunately we have to go this route. But that's not what's happening in the Big Ten, and that's why there, there is such anger there, and I think there could be a, a, quite a loss of, of, of perception. Uh, don't forget, there are a lot of recruits watching this right now, and, and you're seeing a little bit of uh, defection from the Big Ten, and I think you'll see more in the coming days. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.